like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. He will be back in the building this weekend when we talk about, recap, and go over Rare Breed Entertainment's Divide and Conquer event with Murder Move versus Big K, King Lowe's versus Ill Will. Chef Trez versus Show Off, and a lot of other dope battles. Rosenberg Raw versus Charlie Clips. I didn't see Raw in his bag pretty much frequently. He's been talking heavy. Uh, he's been doing the interviews, and Charlie Clips has been quiet. You know what I'm saying? And we'll see what comes out of that. We will watch it. We're not going to bootleg it. We are not going to bootleg it. But we will watch it, and we will support it. Uh, I did see Briz talking, you know what I'm saying, recently, talking about gyms, talking about you know, Jim's, whatever the case may be. Because Jim's did a blog on Briz coming back or lack thereof coming back and saying that that ship has sailed as far as him with the big money. My thoughts is this. Briz may think that it's a bigger deal for him to come back than people really care about right now. I'm not knocking him, I'm not hating on him or whatever the case may be, but I, it's like this. If he comes back at this point, he comes back. If he don't, battle rap, it moves on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it really does it. That's not caught up in the algorithm of my thoughts. Like. Is Briz coming back? When's he coming back? Is he gonna come? I'm not doing that. I heard he's supposed to battle Mook more than one time. It didn't happen. I heard he's been off of some other situations. They didn't happen. So that's all I got on that. I'm not gonna make a whole blog and talk about Briz, who ain't battled in damn near two, three years. You know what I'm saying? It, I, my mind moves on to what's happening now. Salute to him and all his endeavors. Hope it's well, but I'm over here with where battle rap is happening. So let's talk about a battle that is happening. Easy to block captain. Salute to easy to block captain and everything that he's got going on. Uh, I've said this in the past. I felt like he's made the proper steps to become an entity in battle rap. See, some people just exist in battle rap. Other people thrive and live in battle rap or thrive and live in situations. Easy is thriving. Ever since even when he, let's say he left URL. What much in the power structure of what was going on there has changed? What MC has really came and snatched the reins? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's just all same run of the mill. You know what I mean? Like it's just day by day. You know? Hopefully, with these new guys, somebody does their thing, whatever the case may be. I saw a piece saying that this may be the probably the best new class ever. I don't see it. I, I'm sorry. There's a couple good guys, but I don't see best new class probably ever. I'm sorry, Pete. That's you're supposed to say that because you're pushing them. So we're gonna do that. But now, uh, he's a black captain, one of the biggest stars in battle rap, been doing TV, you know, been doing shows, and et cetera, et cetera. Got his YouTube show popping, has went and took it a step further with now actually throwing events, a league, putting together his own battle. See, the thing is, people are so big on the YouTube drop, YouTube drop, I want to say YouTube drop, I need a YouTube drop. Now this man's got his own situation. Now, you can't tell me I can't battle on my own league, and you can't tell me I can't drop my own battles on YouTube. Easy, you've cracked the code. You probably could have still did this without leaving them, but it is what it is at this point. You're gone. Um, very, very, very excited to see what comes out of it. He's battling against Reed Dollars. Um, it says, uh, Gutter City Entertainment presents the trenches. Easy to block captain versus Reed Dollars. Saturday, June 23rd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm sure when um, I get back with SP, he's going to have his thoughts about it. But uh, I'll just say what I think about it up front. Um, I do think this is a phenomenal opportunity for uh, Easy to continue to battle, continue to build his resume, continue to battle against legends. Do I think he's going to beat Reed? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see. It is what it is. I love Reed, 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 Reed. What are you doing, my nigga? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this, is this what you want? Huh, 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 huh? You may get what you want, but you may not want what you get. Uh, last time I heard from Reed. I thought he was supposed to battle Remedy Loco on Rare Breed Entertainment and the battle didn't happen or whatever the case may be. And um, we had, I had seen Reed make a bunch of like, you know, he came back, he battled obviously the John Johns and then he went on and battled against a lot of other people. Uh, within the last couple of years he had battled against uh, Rum Nitty. He had a surprising, surprising win versus uh, Rum Nitty. 
Uh, throw dirt on the floor. I feel like Briz. I don't want murder no more. I remember that. Uh, he battled Sue Surf. Hit his area with 51. Everything in Nevada fly. I, I like that. I did. I did. I did. That showed me that Reed was in tune with what was going on and he had been doing his homework and he kind of knew what was going on in battle rap at the time. And for Reed, I definitely think that that's a, uh, that's a good thing. But to be coming back versus an Easy, who everybody's gonna be looking at and wanting to see what's their next move. Because what I will say about Easy is, it's a smart decision for him to start his own league, start his own situation, get his own pay-per-view going, have his own fans checking into a venue where he's getting the pot, he's getting the bread. This ain't even about no league. See, a lot of y'all be thinking it's about league, 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 league. It ain't about a league. I don't really give a fuck about any league, honestly. Not don't give a fuck, but my vested interest is not in one league. Every time y'all try to hit us with the, oh, y'all compromised over here. I was just at Battle Academy. Oh, y'all over there. I was just at Red Breed. I but da but but there. I was just on TV with Ram and Ma. Da but da but but there. I've been the king of the dot events. Da but I've been the URL. I go where the love is at. I don't really give a fuck about none of these leagues. Cause, and then the thing is, when I go to these leagues, I don't ask them for nothing. I got a job. I make money. I don't need to be paid or need niggas to give me anything to promote or talk about their events because it's strictly battle rap and it's for the fans like this ain't a money grab for me like if I don't get paid from from these people this is what it is I make enough on this channel for myself to take care of SP and to take care of my business and the clothes the clothes is coming back we got some designs we got some things in production so I make bread so I ain't gotta do all the extra shit but uh so supporting his league and so and knowing that he could push that and get people in venues uh, be able to continue to build his catalog on his own accord. Like, I got mad respect for him, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dude don't stop working. I will say, he does not stop working, and he's gambled and bet on himself every single time, and all of these bets are coming to fruition. Him versus uh, Big T, bet on himself, he battled him, he won. Him versus Hitman, bet on himself, battled him, he won. And now, on his own situation, he could get the battles like, okay, I want to battle against... Uh, I want to battle against Reed. Okay, get that. I want to battle against Suge. I want to battle against Ars. All these names that, that they were looking for situations to do, he could do it on his own. He really could. He's going to do pay-per-view numbers. People are going to buy it. People are going to support it. They want to see what's happening. You know what I'm saying? As long as the production looks good, the camera work is well. Easy. Easy. You know, you know what the standard is because you dealt with the standard and you've talked about pay-per-views that have went bad and things like that. So you know the standard. You know the gold standard. They want that audio clear, they want that pay-per-view good, and they don't want that stream dropping. You can complete those three things, that's dope. But see, it's moving into a little different realm when you league on and end battling. You know, ask John John. Ask John John the, the politics and the headaches and shit that go on with dealing with booking battles, having a league, and then things like that. Now, Reed, Reed obviously a superstar of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, you know what I'm saying? One of the first guys that really made it onto the national scene, battle rapper, doing big things. Uh, Gordon, yo, you like to drink it to the 40 to the neck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know about that. You know, since he's a family man, hey, I hit up the family van. Come on, I ain't got to remind you of Reed's legacy and what he's been able to do. He hasn't battled a lot recently, you know what I'm saying? Like in the last couple of months, but I have seen him doing features and continue to keep his name out there and keep his brand relevant at the same time, so I will say salute to him for that. Now, in battling easy to block captain, I don't have Reed winning, I'm sorry. It's just too much of a turn of the tide going on right now. Now, I will say that does Reed have the ability to make it interesting, especially in Philadelphia, and you know, maybe sizzle the pot a little bit? Yeah, I do. I think he can make it a little bit of a fight, but when I'm looking at the trajectory of where Easy's career path is going and what he's been able to do. I don't have him creating a situation, booking a venue, having people come from out of town, tickets, this, that, and the third to Philly, and it don't go well for him or he don't win or he don't at least uh, show off for the city. And I think, like I said, he's not, the fir he's not the first person to do this, but he's the most recent one to do it. And I say it with these artists all the time, y'all have more power than y'all think. The artists have way more power than they think. You know what I'm saying? You could have these situations. All it takes is for you to do these contracts. They be putting you niggas in say you can't go start your own league. You can't hire a cameraman. You can't get a venue. You can't get a pay-per-view. You can't know. There's always another way around. That's all I'm saying. There's always another way around. I did see uh, the rest of the cards. Salute to Easy. I'm obviously not going to say it right now. But 
when I, from what I've seen on it, it's a pretty good card, up top to bottom. I'm not even gonna lie, it's definitely a pretty good card with some interesting battles on here. I was just scrolling back up to see it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty interesting card, I'm not gonna lie. Every single, I will say it like this. Every single person that you see on it, you've heard of before. Let's just say it like that. That's the level that he's going with. You've heard of every single person on there before. In some way, some form, or some regard. I'll just put it like that. Then when you see it, you'll be like, okay, I thought I was right. Um, I could dig with this. It's definitely a card that you can rock with. And the thing is, what's good about Easy is he's built the relationships with the battle rappers. He, you know what I'm saying? They rock with each other. They're in spaces. They talk shit to each other. They go back and forth. So a lot of these battles, they be created organically or they're created amongst each other and they can just be like, okay, you want to battle him, you want to battle him. And they just put it together and make the situation happen. But uh, Gutter City presents the trenches Saturday, June 3rd. Easy to block Captain vs. Reed Dollars. Then it's... You thought I was going to say I was about to say it. I'm just fucking with you. Um, but yeah, uh, I definitely look forward to seeing more announcements. Uh, I, I like what Easy to Block Cap is doing right now. He's got the streets warm, you know what I'm saying? People is talking, and, and when they see this one and hear about him versus Reed, they're going to talk about it too. I don't, I don't have Reed winning. I don't. I know there's going to be some people that's going to be like, oh, he's just battling the safe guys. I get it, you know what I'm saying? I do. I see where y'all are coming from, but he's fulfilling the legacy by probably battling people that he looked up to and wanted to battle ever since he was young. And Reed ain't no slouch, especially Reed in Philadelphia ain't gonna be no slouch. Do I, like I said, do I think he will win? No. But do I think he'll put up a fight? Yes. And like I said, the rest of the card is uh is pretty entertaining. So it's Saturday, June 3rd. Uh, I've been seeing all the little fringe things going on in Battle Rap here, there, and the third. I see everybody still going at and arguing with black compass niggas over the fucking uh, bootlegging the pay per view and yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to that type of shit, like, you, I, I've said it in my other joint, I'm going to just leave it here. You can't be on this side of the fence re recapping, you know, being looked at as media and then doing that type of shit. It just doesn't work. And um, we still recap battles over here. I heard them saying, oh, nobody recap battles. I think I was the only person that recapped Saga versus Lou Castro. I think I was one of the only people that recapped Tay Rock versus Ryder. So, nigga, we still recap battles over here. See, y'all be selectively choosing. Niggas do that shit all the time. Like... I don't see everybody recapping battles, so nobody does. That's a fucking lie. But the thing is, uh, it looks good because there's no real events going on right now. There's no events. If there's no events, no big events, and they drop these little onesie twosies on the app, there's very few people that's going to pick up on them. You know what I'm saying? You can't be. Niggas can't. That can't be the arguing point that, oh, nobody recaps battles. Nah, nigga, they recapping y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what they recap. The motherfucker don't want to recap no battles. Because the same views that they could do recapping the battle is the same views they could do talking about you niggas. I'm just sorry. So it's your turn. Just accept it. It is what it is until it's over. Um, I'm a salute to Easy the Block Captain. Um, salute to uh, Gutter City Entertainment. The Trenches, Saturday, June 3rd. Uh, location. I haven't got the location yet. When I do get the location, I will shout it out and I'll make sure that you guys know it. Pay per view information. And etc. 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 You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Gang gang.